Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to show you how to make this really cute um, chalkboard Christmas countdown. Um, I got this chalkboard on Amazon. I'll link to it. I love this chalkboard because if you want to hang it, these look like just a little pretty embellishment on the bottom and it's got the, the hook on the top. You can hang it. But these also fold out to be legs if you want to put this on the table. Like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this chalkboard. Okay, so get this chalkboard. Really any chalkboard will work, but I just thought this one was totally awesome. Okay, the next thing you need, um, either chalk or chalk marker, so you can change out the date or the number of days in the middle of your ornament when you're done. And then um, you can really use any decal that you want to put on here you can use a stencil and color it in with chalk markers or you can put the decal on the vinyl decal like I do the only reason I use a vinyl decal over doing the whole thing in chalk is when I go to erase the date in the middle as I'm counting down it tends to erase my design if I do the whole thing in chalk um, you can use any one you want I'm sure you can find plenty online uh, mine is available if you have a Cricut um, or any cutting machine. Uh, the SVG is available in my shop. I'll link to that. If you don't have a cutting machine, the actual decals are available in my shop. You can purchase them and make your own board. I just realized there's a piece of vinyl I forgot to weed out. So Okay, I left the middle of my ornament up there. It's gone now. Um, and then you just need some transfer tape. I use contact paper. I love contact paper. It works great for me. Okay, so you just get your little design here. Let me cut out some contact paper. Okay. Actually, I forgot one little thing I'm going to need. Hold on just a second. Okay, um, I forgot my Cricut scraper tool. You don't have to have this. You can use a credit card, a driver's license, whatever just as long as it's got like a little thin flat edge and you'll see what that's for here in a minute where's the paper i cut am i losing that's right in front of me long day guys long day okay so you want to peel the white backing off of your transfer tape place it down on top of the ornament Okay, so I used my scraper tool to just flatten it. That's what you'd use your credit card or your driver's license for. And then turn it upside down. And from the back, take the white paper and peel off of the transfer tape. It's really important to do it that way. If you try to peel from the front, it's not going to go as easily. Okay, get your chalkboard. You can measure if you want. To make sure everything is perfectly in place, I just eyeball it. So let me get this guy here where I can see, and my face is probably going to get in your way so that I can get a good idea, but hold on. Okay, so I eyeballed about where I wanted that to be, and I just put it on. Then I'm going to take my finger and just push it down. You can again use your credit card or your driver's license if you want. Um, I just use my finger. Then you peel this off. Kind of go at an angle like you can see I'm doing. And there's your first part on. For this particular design, um, you need to do the ball of your ornament first because this is a layered design. The next thing you're going to want is your greenery. So again, I take this same piece of contact paper that I had, place it on top of my leaves, my greenery, just kind of use my scraper to get it on really good. Turn it upside down, peel the paper backing off. Okay, so now it's on my transfer tape. 
come back up here. And I need to leave a little room for the bow, so I'm just going to eyeball again where this should go. Sorry, I know my face is in your way. Okay, so I picked where I wanted that to go, and I'm just going to push it down like I did the last one. Just push it on and peel it off. Go slow and peel at that angle and make sure that all of your parts are sticking. Okay, so you can see how we're coming along here. Okay, next I'm going to want to do the bow. So take my same piece of paper, push it down, you know, the same method I've been using to get my others on there. I'm going to use for my bow, okay? And then I'm going to eyeball. I want my bow to overlap the two big green leaves and to overlap a little bit of the ornament. So I'm going to get my face in your way again, sorry. Okay, and there's where I want my bow to be. And again, guys, you can measure all of this out. You can, you know, look at the original design and see where everything needs to be and measure top to bottom, measure side to side, and make sure that you're getting everything perfectly placed. But you don't have to. You can eyeball it. And if it's not perfect, it just makes it better. Perfect, perfect symmetry isn't always the best thing, especially if you're kind of going for a farmhouse or shabby chic look. Okay. Um, I still have the little berries. I'm not going to put those on just yet. The next I want to come down to my Days Till Christmas. So again, take my paper, put it on. And if you didn't cut um, your contact paper, your transfer tape big enough the first time, you might need to cut another one to be big enough to cover your whole word Christmas. Peel this guy off. Okay. And then again, I'm just gonna eyeball where I want that to go. Okay, come here, guy. Okay, and that's where I think I want that. Let me just look and see. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to push it down. Doing a little extra because there's some thin lines on this font. I want to make sure everything sticks. Okay, there it is. I don't know if I can get that all in your view. Why? This camera doesn't allow me the full, but there, yeah, there it is. So there's the whole design put on. Then you just take your chalk marker or your chalk, or you could even get decals for each day and just peel those off. These are removable. You can just peel these off. They're like stickers. You gotta shake your pen and prime it. Um, you have to prime a chalk pen, so just get some extra, maybe even the packaging that it came on, and just push it down until you get the chalk paint to come out. I don't know why this one isn't working. Let me flip the tip. I pulled the tip out and I'm just going to flip it around. It's going to get chalk on my fingers, but now, now the chalk's coming out. Um, I guess we'll just start with 25. So you just take your pen and you put in How many days till Christmas? That's it. Is that not the easiest thing? And adorable. 
So like I said, um, if you want this design, you can buy the SVG file from my shop if you have a cutter, a Cricut, or a Silhouette. Or you can buy just the decals, the stickers themselves, and make your own. Thanks, guys. See you next time.